are ready to jump in. Or maybe we should say jump back in time. Yeah, yeah. let's call it the repilot. Yeah, let's call it the repilot. <laughs> X-Men 97, baby. <laughs> Yeah, and shout out for that song, uh, which is strangely at the end is accredited to Ron Wasserman, who's credited to Savannah Entertainment. But like, it was Ron Wasserman, so like, shout out. Um, and, and recently that song was acquired by Disney, and it's nice to see it in use again. Mm -hmm. And they just straight uh, redid the in intro, and it was cool. Like, the, the, the character placements were a little different. Yeah. I have the list here of like what's the difference and it's like basically it goes Cyclops first, same, Jean Grey swapped with Wolverine, Storm swapped with Rogue, Wolverine swapped with Swar Storm, Morg swapped with the Beast, Rogue swapped with Gambit, the Beast swapped with Jubilee, Gambit swapped with Jean Grey, and Jubilee swapped with Professor X. Bishop's just a new addition entirely mm -hmm. and then you add Professor X to the end there. Um, awesome. And it's so cool. It's like the intro, the intro like continues with updated art, mm -hmm. and it's like um, it's in line with the original series. And then they, they like just redo the art mm -hmm. from it, and it looks so cool. Yeah, a lot of the, the character designs and stuff are all of like the same and everything for it. Um, right. Even um, diving into this first episode, like it's like pretty. It, it's it kind of hits the ground off running. Yeah. Like, you know, like... But yeah, they kind of just fix things from the original show. Because, again, even in the intro, just the mm -hmm. intro, like, on the villain side, they always had two characters that kind of didn't make sense. There was one that, like, was a non-character slash gargoyle. Mm -hmm. And then the other one was, like, uh, was Thunderbird, who's not a bad guy. So, mm -hmm. like, it never even made sense. So they, they switched them out even with, uh, with I think, Lady Deathstrike and, yeah, Emma Frost. Mm -hmm. And that's just, like, those little things like that, just continuity errors they're fixing up. And it's it's cool. It, I love seeing that. It's, and then the silver logo comes across, and then the lightning strike makes the 97 come mm -hmm. up. Like, all that is very sweet. Absolutely. And I've been, I love the, just from the opening shots even, like, you know you're in the 90s. Mm -hmm. You know, there's there's even a version maybe of the Twin Towers kind of still up, uh, if you notice, because mm -hmm. it's like it is ninety seven, you know. Yeah. What I mean? So like to be fair, it would still be there. So like I know it's like kind of like an off New York, right? So, yeah. But anyway, so uh, yeah, they started a, in New York City. Yeah, like, there's a, in a warehouse basically. Right on a TV, but on a TV screen first. The newscaster's yeah. kind of going over the story about like this dead headmaster named Charles Xavier, Professor Charles Xavier, who was assassinated. By this NSA agent, who, if you watch the show, it's like uh, the original show, like Henry Geirich, Guy, Guy, Guy Rick, Sorry, he uh, uh, works for what's his name, uh, Trast. Um, he works with Trast. Bolivar Trast. Yeah, Bolivar so, Trast like, yeah. to make the Sentinel programs so, and all the Sentinels to hunt down the mutants and stuff. It's it's all very heavy season one of the original series storyline. Right. But, so he, but I, and the, the assassination yeah. of uh, uh, Charles, Charles Xavier. Xavier. Uh, so he's an anti-mutant activist mm -hmm. freak. And uh, totally because weird. of the killing, a wave of sympathy has been gained for mutants and some traction uh, as he, like, the newscaster presents it that yeah. way. Like, you know what I mean? And it still seems like there's some tension, though, from what you could tell yeah. uh cut to tension definitely still being there uh when we go to the yeah. where you said the warehouse the, which is hilarious because it's a rollerblading it's a where they make rollerblades at this warehouse <laughs> <laughs> which is again you forget you're in the 90s boom they remind yeah. you you're in the 90s yeah they do and, these uh, little things like that all throughout uh this episode and right stuff. so it's just great <laughs> it's so awesome so the friends of humanity are are like the the shitty characters on the show yeah. they're the evil they're the they're anti-mutant activists they're uh just anti-progress with the with the mutants mm -hmm. and they're and they're now into kidnapping mutants because they can get 10k per mutant which right. is just like gross which just like <laughs> it, yeah it's, it's crazy but like they're that's i mean yeah. it's very it's not much different than <laughs> anyway so they they're, they're, you see the friend, friends of humanity and they're kind of working on stuff and they're, they're clearly repurposing like old sentinel tech yeah they have cool. an entire like sentinel arm that yeah. becomes revealed which, underneath this like um like tarp for lack of a better word in yep. their like warehouse and stuff and they are just like making their own little like mega man sentinel blasters yeah. and, and stuff. And through all this they're dragging a they're dragging this kid and, and uh, who turns out to be Roberto da Costa. Yeah. 
Um, a rich, so, a rich mutant who they're, you know, they're like, uh, mm -hmm. he's like, basically, I'm not one of the mutants on TV, you know, I'm one of the good ones, which yeah. is like, uh, <laughs> don't say that. Don't and say they kind of laugh at the notion, they're like, good, good there, mutant? Yeah, uh, there is no good one and yeah. stuff. Oh, man. Because um, they're just scared mutants will replace them in general and make them irrelevant, blah, blah, blah. And um, it, they're just like, I'd rather just, you die. <laughs> yeah. Which is so <laughs> Or give you whoever. And, like, before they could do anything, uh, the temperature in the room changes. Yeah. And, like, you see their breath. And, like, a storm yeah, yeah. is brewing. Yeah, oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, a storm arrives, basically. And she comes. And she, I love her, like, grandiose, mm -hmm. uh, just nature in general. Mm -hmm. You know, she, she definitely uh, presents herself like an anime character, for sure. Yeah. Like, she announces herself every time she's there. Mm -hmm. And, uh, followed followed by uh, Bishop and Cyclops eventually. But yeah, uh, yeah Bishop's kind of running run and gun. And it's cool seeing Bishop's powers in action. Yeah. Like him getting like shot with the energy blast and him just retaking and refocusing Puts that it, energy. And then yeah. shooting it back out at him. Like that's yeah. just so great. And, but yeah, so like right when things are about to hit the fan, uh, Cyclops comes in and uh, he he's like, he gets into it and he's like they're like well, well he's the kid's like freaking out he's like uh are you one of the good guys he's like, like I, I, yeah definitely yeah. the good guy yeah he's like definitely the good guys. <laughs> yeah. and like that's such a great cyclops line because right. like he's such a uh he's so like wound up tight as like the leader and stuff like yeah like cyclops is always just kind of like an annoying character 100 um, percent, which is and, like uh unfair to his character always. yeah like his character in the comics isn't necessarily like that he's very yeah. like diverse in that but the show definitely just made him an annoying like mm -hmm. but i saw a great tweet about this this show makes him kind of the cool one and wolverine the simp yeah which we'll get into <laughs> um yeah so Another cool line he says is like, oh, it, because it's a throwback to, again, you forgetting it's in the 90s. <laughs> and he's like, do you surrender? He's like, uh, wait, well, he's like, no, don't. He's like, uh, yeah, I surrender. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Sorry. <laughs> that's such the best, like, one of the, like, dude, that is something that is in uh, Batman Beyond, Return of the Joker. Yeah. And it's like... Well, they did it in the original, uh, open, in X-Men, in the original oh, yeah. animated series. He makes the not joke in that. And he, because he was a corny, like, cornball, but they kind of did it well in this. And it was like, it was just pretty cool. One of my favorite things, though, is how he moves with his beams. Like, yeah. how he'll, like, shoot himself across a room and Listen, stuff. Listen, they, like, they, they do... They, they do a very good job of showing you that it's not heat coming out of his eyes. It's a concussive blast. That mm -hmm. it's it, it's straight, just like pressure, mm -hmm. like a power washer. Like you know what mm -hmm. I mean. Like and he's able to use that. So the show does use that ability more, and it's really cool seeing him fight it's with it. So Instead sweet. of just kind of like standing back and like hitting enemies, yeah, he's more just using it just right, like as he goes. It, it, like he's it, the the best way that like he's using all of his abilities. Yeah. Instead of just like standing there going do do yeah. do, like he's moving himself around with his beams. He will use his beams to hit somebody, but he is also then just using his hand to hand combat as well. And it's so cool seeing the mixture of him using it all together, mm -hmm. like you know the and way that you would that, expect the, them to be trained yeah. and stuff. Yep. Like it was just great to see. Yeah, so the scene ends like, up saving Roberto. And mm -hmm. uh, they take him back to the mansion, basically. But cut to this is so funny at this point because uh, Cyclops again, like, is mm -hmm. kind of just a nerd, and he just looks like a dad in this mm -hmm. next to scene. It's awesome. He's just setting the table. He's talking to Slutty Gambit. Yeah, Slutty uh, Gambit. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> they like toned down some of the features on some of the female characters, but they still are like very sexual. Yeah. Uh, sexualized. Everyone's sexualized in the show, though. Uh, yeah. Gambit's just this you know, whore. <laughs> and uh, he's he's got the crop top on. And, it's so funny. Uh, but he's basically like being like, how do we keep the professor's plan alive? Like, yeah. how do we do this, like, legitimately? And uh, it's it's kind of an interesting conversation that they have. And uh, Rogue walks in and is uh, followed by Professor X walking in. Mm -hmm. And uh, but it's just morph kind of messing around with Cyclops, yeah. and uh, Jean comes in like a mom and settles everyone down because they're all just like bickering yeah. at this point. Uh, 
And then Beast. Roberto wakes up next to uh next to Beast, next to Beast, who's upside Ju- down, and like, Jubilee, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, there's like every second of the show is like. And then Jubilee's stuff. like, oh yeah, and then that, that that's Bishop. He's yeah. the time traveler, and he's just like, yo, yeah, well, hey, just <laughs> being cool as yeah. hell in the background. I'm like, I just so, love Bishop. Yeah, uh, Roberto tries to leave like right away. He's like, I'm, I'm okay, cool, thanks for saving me. I'm out of here. Uh, but they oh, like, you, oh, let me pay you. You guys take checks, yeah, and exactly. like Cyclops is like. Yo, dog, we're yeah. not here for a payday, buddy. Right, chill. Um, what we want is you to tell us information about the people who took you. And why they took like, you. Like, the, the Sentinel tech. Like, yeah. why? Like, well, what they know he's a mutant now uh, yeah. through Beast's blood tests and stuff. But they, so, um, yeah, so Storm basically is like, yo, dude, uh, if you leave, you're going to just get killed. Like, yeah, they're no, going to find yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's basically going to happen again, and we might not be able to help you next time. Mm-hmm. Um... So they, they basically convince him to stay, and Roberto's, like, so they bring him down to the training room. Yeah, to Which is cool again. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. And he's, spo- he's supposed to be fighting this hologram, but he just can't. He's like, it's just a hologram of Magneto, mm-hmm. and, like, whatever. And then you see Wolverine come in with his claws and use the two of them to just go over his back of his head and, and keeping the third one in. Uh-huh. And uh, Roberto's like, ooh, scary, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And then... I- they, he's like, she's like, shut it off. Yeah, and well, Jubilee Lord. turns it off, and, and he, Roberto's eyes literally dilate, and it's so <laughs> great. And he's like, he gets so scared because he realizes it's he's real. like, oh no, I messed with the wrong guy. This is not okay. <laughs> this is Wolverine. He will kill me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, super pregnant Jean and Scott walk into uh, to the Cooper call. Yeah, Doctor Cooper. They're talking to. Yeah, who's uh who's a member of the UN now yeah. and uh was like a friend of Charles Xavier and like like uh, a human contact yeah. uh, to like a political asset basically. Yeah. And uh she's basically asking him about what happened with the Friends of Humanity and like and she even inquires about it, Bolivar Trask. Yeah, being like, Hey, nobody's seen this dude, yeah. so like do you guys know where he's at? Right. Um, and with considering the sentinel talks getting out there, like positive yeah, right. like, what's going on. So they also bring up the question of another ma- of an of another master mold. Yeah, um, which is the original Sentinel that they create all the Sentinels from. Yeah, which actually becomes AI and then takes over and becomes sentient. Yeah, and then the X Men have to destroy that. Which they did, or right? like yeah, there was yeah, already yeah, that, that, but that, that yeah. was in the first um, series and stuff, which is absolutely like crazy and like absolutely wild and like yeah, yeah. they're really getting right into it. So anyway, the, the, they. They hang up with her and Scott and Gene are kind of talking. And yep. They're, it's, it's funny because Scott's just mad that his friend are shooting hoops instead of figuring out how to fight like mm-hmm. the friends of humanity or whatever, like trying to figure out a plan. It's like, what's the? And she's like, "Come on, like you used to ask, what's the point of being an X Men if we can't enjoy our lives? Mm-hmm. What happened to that? That Scott, you know? Yeah. What happened to that person? Yeah. Like, so I miss that dude. Gene kind of asks if they could leave the team. She's kind of like, just like, let's get out of here. I don't feel safe. We're like, it, we're, it, like it does that. It anymore. does that point. Like, what's the point? And it has and says this point. Like, what's the point of all the fighting and trying to protect ourselves and like equal rights we've been trying to get here if we can't even just live our own life now? Right. Like, like, like what was even the point of all? Yeah, exactly. That? If we can't even go, how out are there we gonna raise this? a son in a superhero? Yeah. Uh, mansion. Like, that's not gonna... Where it gets exploded every... <laughs> every yeah, movie. all the time and stuff. Like, every... And then, and then, speaking of that, the basketball breaks into the window and, and like... And you have, yeah. like, Jubilee yelling and stuff yeah. and, like... So, chaos ensues. Yeah. Uh, but we find out Roberto ran away. Yeah. Because Wolverine scared him up. Yeah. Exactly. And, uh, Wolverine, Rogue, Morph, Jubilee, and Gambit are told by Scott to go look for Roberto... Which is kind of a cool moment because he's like he's kind of the again he shows he's the lead of the team mm-hmm. at this point and uh, the X Men showed like dressed down in, into the club which was cool mm-hmm. and they find Roberto and uh, Rose this is kind of like an interesting moment because like Rose like the again the opposite of like this new character Roberto mm-hmm. um, who we find out is Sunspot like is, yeah ooh, but whatever so they they kind of have this relationship of like. I went through the same thing. Like literally, this this is the repilot. Yo. Yeah. Like <laughs> I yeah, went my yeah, pilot instead, episode. And, instead of, Jubi- instead of Jubilee having that. Yeah. In the pilot episode, 
we got Roberto going through this now. Right. We got, um, and it's the same thing that Rogue goes through and Paquin in the first X Men movie. Yep. And like, it's just like. And speaking of Rogue, Rogue's off with Gambit, like, uh, just kind of like looking over everyone dancing. And Rogue, you could tell, is like sad of seeing everyone touching and right. she can't touch. Well, she Gambit, can't even really. like have fun like just dancing and stuff right. because like a simple touch will send a human into a coma for like months on end. Right. Uh, Which we found out that she can't really touch gambits too, like she like without like protective stuff. Mm-hmm. On. So like, they can't really have the relationship that they want, right? Yeah. So um, it's just making her sad, and then then we see more messing with Wolverine again. Like mm-hmm. just like he just loves messing with people with his abilities, and it's funny. He's just like a, a Jean Grey super pregnant, mm-hmm. and like Wolverine's like stop, like something's up with her. Like I think they're gonna leave the team. Yeah. And, like, it, it kind of makes more sense why he's more grumpy. But he is more, like, it, it does seem like, dude, get over it, <laughs> yeah. Wolverine. Like, it seems like you're, like, dude, they they are having a child now. Like, it's mm-hmm. time for you to whatever. But it, it, it does seem he's more upset they're going to leave the team at this moment yeah. than, than, like, the relationship. It, I, yeah, it, it's not even, like, in that moment with Morph, it does seem that, like, they're not even going to be there. Anymore. Yeah, it kind of seems like Morph misunderstands it as... He's jealous, mm-hmm. and Wolverine's kind of making it clear that no, no, it's that they're gonna leave. I feel something's off. Yeah, basically with her, and um, yeah. So it's this is another like cute moment, I guess. Like Jubilee's dancing with Roberto, and Roberto. Well, at first Roberto was using like like light things, glow sticks yeah. and stuff, and she's like, I'll use my own glow sticks, and she's using her little firework tricks. Yeah. It's just cool. And then we get. But then we also see, you know, the Friends of Humanity walk in a little bit. And, you know, Logan, Wolverine gives, like, the nod to everybody. And then, and, then we, and then we get a quick cut back to, like, you know, Jubilee and Roberto dancing. And Jubilee using her little fireworks and everything. And Wolverine tosses the hat to Roberto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Being like, hey, just so that, like, you know... That, like, we really don't want to hurt you, but people who do want to hurt you were They're here. here. They're here now. We're yeah. here and, like, ran away once they saw us. Yeah, yeah. But, like, here's a reminder, dude, of, yeah. like, ju- just remember. Yeah, we took care of them real quick, but, uh, uh like, yeah. like, we, we might not be here next time. Yeah. Again, dude, you're not listening to us. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> he thinks being rich is going to get him out of all this right? stuff, and it and, doesn't. But one thing I did love of seeing, like, because we always see Rogue and her ability to, like, Zap people, like, take other people's powers and stuff and, like, her ability oh, yeah. to fly. One thing that you do always forget because of, like, her absorption of, like, the Captain Marvel um, powers and stuff is that, like, she has enhanced strength. So, like, her destroying that Sentinel arm piece yeah. was, like, a really great reminder of, like, this other power that is not really ever seen. Yeah. I mean, um, we it just her, yeah. The, the the one we focus on is, is it, the it, fact that she takes other people's powers or is able to just touch people and they just like crumble. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it is great to see like other aspects of that mm-hmm. being of her powers being used. But yeah, she's she's definitely uh, a, a force to be reckoned with. Um, so this is when we see Storm and Cyclops interrogating. Uh, they go to interrogate Gyric, yeah. and um, this is like creepy he's like he's just as evil as ever right mm-hmm. like he he says one of like the scariest things i've ever heard like in a in an animated show he's like we know the naked truth tolerance is extinction and yeah. i was like whoa, whoa. dude chill Holy that is like the craziest thing i've ever heard yeah. like uh yeah okay so we're dealing that's who we're dealing with against the mutants right yeah. and, and meanwhile they're trying to save humans but the humans some well, a good portion of them don't even want them to exist. Yeah. So it's very reminiscent. It's funny. I want to bring this up. <laughs> People were mad because X Men woke mm-hmm. literally was invented <laughs> on the idea of civil rights and and uh, Magneto is kind of based like loosely based on uh, Malcolm X and Professor X was loosely based on on. Martin Luther King, and the idea was to get across to a white audience to have them be white so that, that they'd see the struggle in it. 
because they were connecting to whiteness, not the mutantness, mm -hmm. because they didn't actually live in that world. So they were like, just look how stupid it is to just like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure. Look at there's some bad mutants. Like, ooh, wow, yeah, but that there's some bad humans. There's some bad whatever. Yeah. And uh, there, tolerance there is definitely not extinction. It's how yeah. we survive. Exactly. Um, um, and this is like the people who are like. X Men spoke now. It's like I, you've clearly never read a single X Men. I mean, story every every life. single X Men story was woke of its time. Like, yeah, yeah. You might read one now that might seem a little out of out of touch from the seventies or whatever. But like at its time, it was it was definitely trying to be uh, a, a little more progressive than a lot of the comic books out yeah, at the time. Absolutely. A anyway, so back to the show. <laughs> they. Uh, I did, Scott is all, is wielding is wielding and dealing here, being like Gyric, got reduced sentence, you get ten years instead of your twenty five. If you help us figure out where Trask is mm -hmm. and you know where these like new Sentinel pieces are coming, yeah, because yeah. like we destroyed that stuff before, and he is and right, like yeah. and like that's where like a bunch of his come like one of his final comebacks is like. Tolerance is extinction. Yeah, and it's just and horrible. Like, oh. So yeah, we know what we're dealing with, and he's just not doing it. He's not dealing. He's not going to work with them in any sense of the mm -hmm. word. And uh, but this is when we realize Jean's been on Cerebro mm -hmm. this whole time, and she gets inside Gyrick's head. Yep, and she ends up. Uh, you know, she definitely gets that location. Yeah, yeah. And, but uh, also, but uh, also, <laughs> she tells like some you. Kind of, yeah. She tells you somebody else was in there. Yeah, yeah. Which. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, exactly. So she's been just, uh, she's in the thing and she sees this type of kind of like apocalypse as she's holding mm -hmm. her baby and uh, they're talking about the master mold and it comes mm -hmm. out like it's, it's, it's kind of like a super scary moment. She freaks out and comes out of the, has to, you know, yeah. come out of the, the cerebro. Yeah. Um, but she's, she's basically like, we have to stop whatever it is Trask is doing. Like, yeah. we got to stop this because I we just going? saw some crazy shit. We're going to the desert. Yeah. We're going to the Sahara Desert. And uh, that's where Trask has been hanging out, building master molds, because that's what you do. You mm -hmm. go to the Sahara Desert. <laughs> out in the exactly. middle of the So, nowhere. yeah, but it's it's a cool, uh, cool moment because we get to see the, uh, the, the X-Jet. Yeah, we get to see their, their jet. and uh, But it gets exploded out of the sky. And, yeah. <laughs> and this moment is so cool because, like, each hero is using their power to, like, save another one mm -hmm. that can't necessarily fly or whatever and cyclops is just kind of fallen like yeah. kind of left alone to his own devices but he doesn't seem yeah. phased by it at all and he's like all right meet you guys on the ground and uses his uh concussive blasts to blast to like slow down his his yeah, uh his own descent yeah and, like just does a cool superhero landing yeah, uh, the coolest like, superhero <laughs> landing maybe like yeah it's very this show is so anime and mm -hmm. it's fight scenes and it's in it's action it's so its good. action is very good, well done. It's it's cared for, just like the uh, you know other elements of it. And he calls out to me, uh, my X Men, yeah, which is the name the of the line. episode, yeah. And uh, it's just the line that yeah. Professor X would say, and it's just yeah. the line that you know has been. It's it's just like uh, Avengers Assemble, you know what yeah. I mean? It's it's anything like that. So, um, but you also, I also love this. Then Trask is like, ha ha ha! I've been waiting for you, right? Just like Guy super Rick old still villainy, has, yeah. like he's still like twisting the mustache, yeah, exactly. and he's like, Guy Rick still has his uh, notifications, uh, like tunnels and peoples, yeah, and people that can get through to him. Like, uh, you think he can't like just reach me or whatever? Yeah. And, um, and immediately some uh, some sentinels, like old looking crusty sentinels, start attacking them. And, and they give the feel of like zombies coming yeah, back yeah. to life, like definitely. And even Trask feels like kind of a zombie. He kind of not not, not that he is, but yeah. he kind of feels like this old like crusty old man that's like just kind of like past his time. Mm -hmm. Which uh, it shows right here, like they they just kind of like mm -hmm. sweep the floor with him. They have fun with him at first, like dude. Yeah, we gotta call it out. Beast oh, taking but, over yeah, yeah. the Sentinel he and then through, just yeah. like hey, do it. How about a change of heart? He says, Yeah, and right. He goes into his chest and he takes it over. It's straight up po oh. Pacific Rim yeah. type stuff of like where the dudes are controlling the robots and they're just like, rah, rah, yeah. rah, 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 rah. and it's literally like, uh, we've dealt with these Sentinels for so long now. We have like all these moves down, even Rogue <laughs> does like a straight up 
moved from the original show. Well, it, it's it's like similar to what you would be calling the fastball special of like right. it, when a Colossus is in the storyline, he's the one just usually mm-hmm. tossing Wolverine. But this, you get the Gambit special. Yep. Yeah, which is and, so cool uh, too. Which, which yeah. is so great of like the powering up of like. Uh, Gambit's like staff and everything. He throws it at the ground. It launches Wolverine, mm-hmm. and then Wolverine's like morph belly, yep. and then you see morph turn into a uh, blob, which blob, is yep. which is great seeing Another him. Throwback, yeah. Which is great because we haven't seen him since the original series yep. tossing uh, Wolverine up there and then like cutting off the head of uh, one of the Sentinels. yeah, and then, like, and then eventually the Sentinels start uh, taking back their, their territory a little bit here. Yeah, after a few of them were taken out, but. Storm shows up and she again is just like OP. Hold on, bro. like dude, we get the official Omega level threat detected. Yeah, yes, yes, exactly. Because Storm love shows hearing. up because like, yo, you have to remember she love is like it. an Omega level threat. Right, she so, is one of the most powerful mutants of yeah, all in time. Existence, yeah. Um, so Which you gotta, the, like, respect her, and, uh, like... With the electricity in the air, and with, it, like, the lightning bolt, she's turning the sand at her feet into glass, and then she brings in, a, like, tornadoes from behind mm-hmm. her, and those tornadoes rip apart the shards of glass, turning them into, like, weapons spinning through the air, and takes care of, like, most of the Sentinels. It's insane. With it's, one left, basically. Yeah. Which is the Master Mold. Yeah. And, uh... But basically... They take, you know, yeah. they take that thing and, down. And, and that's the Wolverine Gambit special. Yeah, that's right? when that happens. Yeah. And then we get uh, uh, Dr. Cooper arriving with her soldiers. And the UN, and they come to take Trask away. Yep. And like, So kind of like wrapping up that storyline real quick. Like right. showing you like... And Trask is like, you have no idea what it feels like to be left behind. And yeah. It's like, no, it's okay. He you kind know, of is like, they're showing like he's now. a ca- character of the past. We're moving on. Like, yeah. Yes, there's still like story threads from that original one with like Gyrick and stuff that are going to be important and i'm sure he's gonna come back up but yeah. like it's it's kind of like moving past that right now mm-hmm. and it was cool to wrap that storyline up and um and cooper even is like two cyclops like hey you, you're starting to sound like charles and everything mm-hmm. like that he would be proud and like to be fair scott cyclops was like no it was a team effort Yo, yeah, always has yeah. been but like in Which this is the most charles thing but, but, but <laughs> in this moment though scott has the ability to be like no we can leave like, yeah. like, 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 in that moment, he's like, no, it, it's always been the team. It's never just been me. me yeah. or but he does Gene's realize buddy. in that moment in that, that moment he can leave. Gene, him and Gene can take off, right? Can take off, can leave, and they'll be okay. And so this is when we cut to, like, Jubilee telling Roberto her story. Mm-hmm. Hoping he could relate. Uh, Roberto shows off his solar powers that he yeah. kind of doesn't understand and whatever. And uh, he definitely says his parents won't understand him. Like, mm-hmm. he does not want to let them... Uh, in on it, and uh, it's kind of like just a, again a moment to re, to to solidify the fact that this is kind of like the new Jubilee character. This is the new entrance. Yeah, uh, this is the new. Um, I mean, person that's coming into the X Men, whatever. The and, audience uh, POV. Yeah. So we get um another basketball game mm-hmm. with Cyclops in, in it this time, and he's like just being. I mean, dude, we gotta be. We gotta talk about it. Maybe. Ninety ninety seven. Yeah. I mean. The Bulls are in the midst of their second three yeah, exactly. peak here, people. So basketball so is like, very important to like everybody. Everybody's trying. Like, I mean, they play the Knicks. And he's, they all look super nineties. Like he's got his yeah. like uh, his cut off, and he's you know he mm-hmm. got his head backwards, snap back, and um, yeah, he's named a team leader, and Gene's the ref. Mm-hmm. But like they're kind of hold about, on before we get to the basketball game. I love Roberto being like. I have a jet. Maybe I'll let you drive it sometime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like here, yeah. page me. Here's yeah. my beeper number. Like the sorry, we gotta call the, out the pager and the beeper number and stuff like that. Exactly. Stuff is, that's, that's that stuff so is great. important yeah, no, because that was so '90s and people are like, what are and you also the about? jet thing. Like it's yeah. kind of like, oh, maybe they're gonna return that into something new because yeah. the jet got blown up. So yeah, so the, they're about to start the game when ring like an yeah. alarm goes off that an intruder is in is in the house is in the house and making its way through beast gets another one saying that it's like oh it's in the professor's office yep. and um so they run off to to charles's office and mm-hmm. find magneto chilling super long hair like at the end like he's just it, it, oh, he's so cool like <laughs> but he's also very menacing mm-hmm. 
and you just don't understand his... He puts up, like, he starts putting up the pictures that had um, fallen from the basketball being thrown up there yeah. earlier during the he first basketball fixed, game. He just kind of, like, slowly fixing and, up the And, and like, we and see that as everyone's he... bursting in, and what is he reading there? Yeah. Less the will, will and testament, testament of, of Charles, Charles Xavier. Xavier. Oh, yeah. Everything um, that he's built, he has left. To Magneto. Right. So, uh, to me, my X-Men. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And now, he, everything oh. belongs to me, my X-Men. Like, he reframes mm-hmm. the uh, whole thing, and it's 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 very menacing. But also, I do think Magneto's on a redemption arc right here, uh, yeah. hopefully. Um, and there's maybe more to this than it mm-hmm. seems right now. He he seems menacing because we know him as a bad character, but there's a reason Charles left him to him, right? Yeah. Uh, they didn't. Because they weren't the end, as they, different. They as, wanted the same yeah, thing. They weren't as different. They wanted the same yeah. thing. They were going Just about Malcolm it X different, and Martin Luther different, King. different yeah. ways. They wanted the same thing. Martin Luther King and Malcolm yeah. X wanted the same thing. They just were going about it two different, different ways. ways. Yeah. And um, uh, people act like they were like enemies. They were not enemies. Mm-hmm. Um, in the same way that. You know, other people were their enemies. Right. Anyway, so yeah, it's it ends on that note, and we're basically in it now. And it's a great start to the season, and I loved it. I and also love the closing credits. Because yeah, the closing again, credits it brings back were, the, were very similar to like what the original um, closing credits were. They were obviously updated. I love it. Yeah. Um, like character I, cards. They, yeah, they're yeah. spinning around. But it's their very power video level. game. Yeah. It's very much so like it's very like, 90s just as yeah. like all about it like it was like virtual reality type stuff mm-hmm. like where the the guys are spinning around and shows their power levels mm-hmm. and it, yeah very video like pick your character yeah it was and, so um, great it was so awesome i just absolutely loved it mm-hmm. and um i don't know man do you got anything else to say about episode one that's it just go watch it it was, it was awesome i am jimmy with the triple c collective i'm colin and we want to thank you all for joining us for Season 1, Episode 1 of X-Men 97. Uh, to me, my X-Men. And uh, we want to please like and subscribe to our video and to our channel. We hope you all stay safe. And, uh, yeah. Peace. Peace. <laughs>